Hi, Kishan Panchal here. In today's session, we will upgrade our green plum cluster and go through all the steps and perform live hands on. We'll perform upgrade from green plum database 6.x version to the newer version 6.x release. It will involve stopping of green plum database, updating the green plum database software binaries, and restarting green plum database. Check out the link for the more details. So, as I said, we are going to upgrade from 6.22.1 release to the newer release which is 6.23.0 Green Plum Database release. The upgrade part is supported for this release. Make sure direct upgrade from Green Plum Database version 4 or version 5 to the Green Plum version 6 is not supported. Let's not wait and start our Green Plum Database upgrade. Before starting the upgrade process, we have to perform the following checks. Verify the health of the Green Plum Database host hardware and verify that the host meet the requirement for running Greenplum database. We are starting Greenplum database here via gp start hyphen a. Once database is started, we will verify our cluster health. Verify all our segment health via gp state hyphen e. Post standby use GP state hyphen F. If all are green, we are good for the upgrade. First, we will verify our current green plum database version. This can be done by executing GP state hyphen I as well as log in to the psql and execute select version it will list you the current green plum database version for production use make sure all the dependencies are met hardware checks are clean and have approved downtime as we need to stop the green plum database update the binaries and start again as all my cluster checks are clean, no any issue found, we'll start our Green Plum database update. First, we need to stop the Green Plum database. Use GP stop a to stop the Green Plum database. Download the target upgrade binaries of Green Plum database on master host. Once binaries are downloaded, copy the binary to all other segment host as well as the standby host. Here you can use native HCP or you can choose GP HCP. We'll update our duplicate command to download the targeted Greenplum database binaries. Execute our duplicate command and wait for the binaries to get downloaded. I am using SCP to copy the binaries to all other hosts. We will install the latest binaries which were downloaded using yum. Install Greenplum database binaries on each instance as a root. Once installation is done, update the permission for the new installation. Edit the environment of the Greenplum database super user GP admin and make sure you are sourcing clean plum path for the new installation. Update the bash RC as well as the profile. If you are using a symbolic link 
in your profile files update the link to point to the newly installed version in my case during the installation the rail itself updated symbolic link for my cluster all are set and let's source our newly installed cream from binaries Execute with GPS Assist to verify. Follow the same procedure for all our segment host as well as the standby. And the installation of new Greenplum database binaries are done on the all the segment host as well as the standby host. Source the new binaries as well as and verify by executing with GPS search. If everything is working fine, we are good to start the database. If you are having any issue, please connect to our Greenplum support. Log in as a JPA admin and start the Greenplum cluster in normal mode. If you are using any Greenplum database extensions, then please use GPPKG utility to reinstall the extensions. Once database is started, verify the cluster health by executing gpstate-e as well as the standby host connectivity via gpstate-f and verify or upgraded cluster version via gpstate-i as well as log into the psql and execute select version and we have successfully upgraded our greenplum database after upgrading greenplum database ensure that all features works as expected for example, tests that backup and restore perform are expected and Greenplum database features such as user defined functions and extensions such as Madlib and Postgres perform as expected. If you configured PXF in your previous Greenplum database installation, you must reinitialize the PXF services after you upgraded the Greenplum database. If you have not yet configured PXF, no action is necessary. Also, if Greenplum database uses PL Java path, you might need to set or update the environment variable Java home and LD library path in the Greenplum path.sh. In the next video, we will discuss and perform the upgrade from the Greenplum database version 4 or 5 to the Greenplum version 6. Thank you guys, please let us know in the comment down below if you are facing an issue. Meet you in the next session.